Goodman. Welcome to week 15 in NFL. Uh, the champ bought his belt. He's also wearing his shit for the week. Yeah, right here. And, uh, and match it. Yeah, cool. The belt and shit. Exactly. Yeah. Alright. Championship. 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 <laughs> Alright, man, we're just getting right to it, man. The first game is um, Thursday, Thursday, right? Yeah. yeah Thursday, Thursday it's a night. Yep. Denver Broncos at the Indianapolis Colts. I'll go real quick. I'm just I'm going with the Broncos, even though they're a horrible team. I'm going to pick the Broncos on that one. Yeah, I'm going to agree to uh, the Broncos and everything. They had a good game last week and they uh, shut down the, the, the Jets, and they're going to do it again this week against the Colts. Is this, is this an all pick? Yeah, I'm going with the Broncos also. All oh, 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 going with the Broncos in this thing. First one. Easy. Oh. All right, so I bring this into a Saturday night game. Saturday. Or, or Saturday, Saturday night or Saturday morning. That's, that's either Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Or Saturday afternoon game. Yeah. we got the Bears going into Detroit. Now, um, uh, I, I kind of I feel bad because I did talk major shit about the Trubisky and the Bears for last week. And, you know, uh, they showed me different. They, they won that game. But... Um, I'm gonna give it to Detroit this week uh, against them. I still don't have much faith in Trubisky and those Bears, too, despite what happened last week. Yeah, I agree, camera, bro. bro I agree. I'm going with Lions also, not with the Bears. I too am going with the Lions on this one. Um, Lions got a lot more to play for than a the lot. Bears do, so a lot more is on the line if the Lions win or lose. Yeah, I got the Lions as well, so that's all. Right there. All picked. Yeah. All right. Two Next goals. game here. Chargers at KC. Oh, let's change well, it Chargers surprised me. Oh honestly. yeah. So it's same division, right? Yep. Yeah. That's gonna be the fucking division game right there. Winner takes. Uh, I think I already have, I have an idea who GJ's going with here. I'm just just assuming. <laughs> but I'm still gonna go with KC this time. I'm pretty sure he is too. Yeah, I too <laughs> am going with KC. Uh, I was actually expecting this guy to go the other way, but uh, I, I'm sticking with KC. I picked him last week. And they, you know, they pulled it off, and uh, I think they're going to squeak this one out. I think the Chargers are on an upswing, and um, I want to say it'll be maybe even a three-point game. Uh, but, you know, going in Arrow, Arrowhead, uh, Andy Reid, you know, that experience there is just, uh, you know, and Alex Smith seems to be uh, the not game manager Alex Smith, but... I think Casey's going to pull it off by three points. I absolutely disagree. I got the Chargers, I think the opposite. I think Philip Rivers is going to go in there and make a shot. So that's what I think. It's going to mess up their whole playoff chances. Damn. Uh, as bad as I don't want to say this, I'm out there agree with uh, with Snake. Uh, I don't see the Kansas City Chiefs coming out in this one. Um, yeah, L.A. played a hell of a game last week, and of course the Chiefs played a hell of a game and whooped the shit out of my Raiders. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go with L.A. All right, next game we got is the Dolphins. Visiting that cold, cold, snowy Buffalo Bills. Yeah, wasn't it that? It was. It was last night. Last week they were over there, right? Yeah. The it was snow. It's literally, they were there. Like, yeah, two feet of snow, just <laughs> falling in it. Most, most of the time, they were covered in it. Uh, this one's a, a, one of the tough games for me to pick, um, just because Miami, you know, is down in the area, of South Beach area, and you know they might not even be used to it. But they did play, and they beat New England. Uh, they pay, played them within three weeks of each other, so they lost the first time, and then they came back and beat them. Um, I am actually going with the, the gamble on here. I'm going with the Miami, pulling this one off by three points in Buffalo. Actually, uh, only by a little bit, I think, uh, Buffalo's win by three is because they're more experienced in their own home field. So all that snow shit, when it happens again, if it happens again, they, can, they know how to use play in it. So I'm going for the Bills on that one. Well, uh, I'm actually going to agree with uh, DJ on this time. I'm going to go with Miami. They played a hell of a game last week against New England. A uh, tough, tough team to beat. And uh, I think they're going to come in there. It might not win spectacular against the Buffalo Bills, but I'm calling maybe, maybe three points or maybe a, maybe a touchdown at the most. And you're rolling solo on this one. That's uh, good. Oh, I, that's that's what I like. Miami it. right here. That's so. how I like it, man. It's already written on the paper. Oh, so good. I'm actually pretty good on the solo ones. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, okay, here's no. I didn't, I didn't pick this one because I want to talk to you guys about it first. It's um, <laughs> Green Bay going into uh, Carolina, and um, I know Aaron Rodgers supposed to be bad, but I'm in my head. I'm thinking, is that enough uh, for them to beat Carolina? You know, um, I, I think he got hurt week six, didn't he? Aaron Rod. Uh, no, I, remember sort of that. I, I don't remember. It's been but, a while. Uh, yeah. I think I just told myself what I was going for right now. I think I'm going to pick Carolina because I don't think A-Rod could just come in and wreck shot like that. I mean, it's Carolina that's been actually doing really good. Beat Minnesota, so 
I think, uh, you know, I'm going to Carolina on that one. Plus, they, you know, won last week with them, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm actually, guess I'm going to be the first one to go with Green Bay. Ooh. Um, I mean, Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers. Uh, <laughs> uh, if he can manage not to get hurt again, uh, I think he's going to go on a nice little hot streak to get those uh, Packers into the playoffs. And um, Carolina, just being Carolina, especially at this time of the year, if, if they aren't going to keep up with what they're doing at the beginning of the year, it's not going to happen against Green Bay, especially with Aaron Rodgers back. I don't know. And I have Carolina pick already on paper. So I'm going with the Panthers. He's like, yeah, I'm going to the Panthers. <laughs> I am going Panthers. to with, with the Panthers on this oh, one. So, okay. so, uh, so I, I was leaning a little bit towards Green Bay, but then I read some comments uh, not too long ago. Basically, they're saying that don't expect pretty much, I mean, they didn't say word for word, but it pretty much said don't expect miracles to happen. They don't expect their season to turn around just by uh, Aaron yeah. Rodgers coming back. And once I read that, I was like, all right, they already kind of beat themselves up. Uh, and there's really no chance. So, Panthers. Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'll bring you to the next one. We got the Baltimore Ravens going against Cleveland. Now, this should be a no-brainer. I'm just going to call it now all pick, unless somebody wants to take Kim on the Browns. All pick on this one. Yeah. All. <laughs> make her mad. Way too easy. Yeah, oh, well, that one was a good one. Alright, next game here, Texans at Jacksonville Jaguar. I personally don't haven't really picked the Texans very much. They've been more in the background for me. So I'm gonna go with the Jaguar. I too am going with Jaguars. They got a top defense and I don't see them slowing down in that area. Especially against the damn Texans. <laughs> Is it an all? Yeah, there's an all. Okay. okay. So next we're going for the Bengals visiting the Vikings. Um, I don't know if this is going to be an all-pick. I want to say it will be. Uh, Vikings all the way on this one. I don't know. I'm not getting one. Anybody gambling? Vikings it is. All-pick on this. I don't know. It's a good idea to gamble, but I can't do it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right there. All right. Um, we'll flow. New York Jets. Did I skip you? No, no. Oh, okay, I thought I skipped you. All right, New York Jets at New Orleans Saints. Um, I, I will I'll say all on this one because I mean I'm pretty sure most Saints. of us are going to pick the Saints, but some people might want to gamble. Anybody want to gamble? Know. No. Uh, actually, I would take the gamble on this one. Oh. Right? <laughs> oh. Um, I mean, uh, I got a huge slap in the face, like I said last week, with the, with the Jets and their their bad loss. Sorry, I sucker did that one. The, <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the, how the, you got to take some risks here and there. So I'm going. Yeah. You both going New Orleans? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to learn. I'm going to say. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going solo again. So what was your analysis? Why Why would the Jets win? Let's just, let me just find out. <laughs> Well, like I said, you, you got to take some risks, you know. Uh, <laughs> you just feel they're going to squeak it out? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe about three. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so I'll bring you some of the next one. We got the Eagles going against the Giants. Now, Eagles, I feel bad for you guys. Uh, don't expect you guys as the rest of your season and your time in the playoffs to go too smoothly. But uh, Nick Foles, he is a pretty good quarterback, and I mean, they're going against the Giants, so this should be another all pick, right? Um, yeah, all pick. Oh. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, yeah, that one was. <laughs> this one's going to be hard. Yeah. I oh, man. <laughs> Arizona at Redskin. Freaking Redskin been stinking it for like the last three weeks. Hey, like you right now, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right here. So, Shit. but Cardinals is still Cardinals. You know, I'm still going to go with the Redskin. I, too, am going with the Redskins on this one. I don't see Cardinals really showing me much. Uh, you know, I, I think Redskins have just been on a fluky last few weeks, and I think they're going to bounce back. I mean, they're not going to go into the playoffs, but they will bounce back a little bit. And I'm actually happy they both said that because I'm going with the Cardinals. I'm going to gamble with that one. They won last week. I think they could beat the Washington Redskins. So uh, Don't worry. Uh, you're not alone. So uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, good. No, good. It, it, it was a little tough choice for me, but... I had to wait and see what these guys went for. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. <laughs> no. Right, next one we got uh, a tough game. Rams going to down to the 12th man, Seattle Seahawks. A must win for both. And yes, it's a must win for both. Uh, this one's a tough one for me to pick. Uh, you know, for me, it's up in the air, but I want to actually hear the honors of what uh, SJ is going to say is before I make my pick. All right, well, I'll tell you right now, uh, we should have won the first game, but we fucked up that one. Uh, 
I think we actually go in there and we take the win. I think we're pissed off that we lost to the Eagles, and we're pissed off that we lost to them once. So, uh, I think we got this one, and we want this game just as much as they do. And I agree. I'm going with the Rams as well. Uh, I think they're going to pull off an upset. A lot of people don't think that they're going to go into Seattle and yeah, beat we'll them. Um, I don't think it's going to be an easy win, though. Uh, I think it's going to be tough. Um, you know, Rams have showed me their second and a half team time and time again. That's why I keep telling this guy. You know, but uh, I think they're going to pull it off. I think it's going to be by 10 points. Oh, shit. Damn. So uh, I guess <laughs> um, I don't really want to do this, but uh, I got to take gamble. So I'm going to be the first one to go with Seattle. Um, it, nothing against the Rams. You guys are a really, really good team this year. But uh, like, you, like you said, this is a must-win game. And uh, how L.A. had their chance to come on top of the Eagles after injuring their quarterback. Uh, they still could have pulled it off, and they, they got to go against Russell Wilson. And, you know, uh, it's pretty much just Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> if, if you guys couldn't stop the Eagles with, who's got almost no defense in the last couple weeks. Okay, you guys play them too, and I can't wait for you guys to play them. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to play them. I was the only team that scored that much on the Eagles, you know, right? Yeah. It's, it's all right. <laughs> so uh, I'm going with Seattle. Can't wait for that game now. You're not alone on this one, number nine. Good I'm for also you. going with the Seahawks on this one. Oh shit. Well, that's play right there, right? Yep. Alright, you get to call. <clears throat> is it me again? Yep. Shit, that was fast. These are uh, big this, games, this yeah. This is a big game. This is a hard one right here. Okay, New England at Steelers. Fuck. Um, normally I would pick New England, but god damn, they look like bad against Miami. <laughs> but Miami League will look that good. I don't know if you <laughs> either one, but you know what? After, I don't think they're going to go in Pittsburgh and beat them. Not the way they were playing last week. If they bring that shit in, in Pittsburgh, they're going to slap it slap in the face, especially with the. Uh, with the, um, Brown and fucking Juju Smith, we still not suspended or whatever. Lady and Bell, I don't know. They got too many fucking weapons, man. I, I got Steelers. Right. Now, um, I'm actually going to agree with him on that one. Uh, New England, they, they play like crap. Even though they're going to come to this game angry at themselves for letting uh, a team without a quarterback beat them. Especially around this time of the year when they, that just lost them their number, uh, their chance for a uh, first round bye. So I'm going to go with Pittsburgh as well. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I know Pittsburgh gets hurt on defense with their uh, with their star linebacker. Actually, uh, he's going to be, he, he might be done forever with the, he's, uh, he's got like a spinal cord injury, like broken bone in the spine, so he's probably done forever. But, Shazier? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh, they're a tough team to beat, especially the New England Pages and Pittsburgh Steelers, they always have a really great game. So, I'm, I'm going to play. Are you talking about that hit that he took from the Bengals? Yeah. Over? That he, he, oh, he's, he's possibly done forever. That sucks. All right, and for this one here, I'm going with New England. Mainly because it is still a battle for this division. So they are still fighting for that spot, and I'm sure they still want that spot. As, you know, Pittsburgh took the lead on it now. but Well, Pittsburgh was already number one in the division. They had the number one spot. Uh, they had the same game. record, yeah, but, but because but, but Pittsburgh New England was, law, mm -hmm. it puts them behind more, but by yeah. them taking it back, then you have to take it into week 17, yeah. that can decide whether, hey, hopefully well, Pittsburgh yeah. loses again, you yeah. know? If Pittsburgh loses the game, and they're, they're still so. having a chance to be number one anyways, but uh, this is New England's that's chance to try to get their first round by. Yeah. Not, not the exactly, and so that's why I'm like, I think New England wants, still in there, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, this one was is, and is a tough game to pick. Um, normally, uh, I would be rolling with Brady, but I think the Steelers, uh, not only you know, are they in a good position right now, but it's sad, and it's also sad, uh, Ryan Shazier, but I think he's also the reason why they're going to play even harder than they would normally do. And, you know, that's kind of like I, why the reason I think they won. I picked them last week to win. The, it looked like it wasn't gonna happen, and they they yeah, came back by that one point. I, I was I, I was gonna leave earlier, and I was like, man, this is you know too good a game. And it's just like I think they're just they just got that extra push, you know, with the injury of one of their uh, you know one of their favorite players, and he's he's out. But I think the team's gonna want to want it that much more. So the Steelers are gonna pull it off. I think it's gonna be a good game, um, maybe by about seven points. Uh, I believe Steelers might pull it off. So DJ on the Steelers. You're a solo on that one, Tim. All right, so that brings us into the next one. The Tennessee Titans going against Jimmy G's 49ers. 
Now, Jimmy G, he came in very end of the season, won two games in a row, and I think he's going to go for a third one. So I. Uh, I the, are like, I, the fans are like, "Hop in! Oh, we have undefeated quarterback." He's like, "Dude, you just got fucking yeah. had two games." And don't yeah. get too excited now, Niner fans. But you know, you guys do have a really good quarterback in Jimmy G. And Tennessee, being Tennessee, they're they're a hit and miss, hit and miss team. So I'm gonna give you guys another chance. It's also, with this like one. A, a, I think a wild card team right now. So yeah. you, you pick Niners? Yeah, because th this actually could have a chance to knock the Tennessee Titans out of the playoffs. I am going with the Titans. I'm going to stay remembering the title. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually a tough one for me to pick just because, uh, just like Rudy was saying, uh, or engine number nine. But, yeah, Jimmy G's on roll, flat out. Um, Titans <clears throat> also lost, uh, I believe, to the Cardinals. I didn't expect that. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what picked it. But I... Um, I think the Titans are, you know, still got that, that reason to play while the Niners don't, um, which is, you know, to, to be in the playoffs. What they're always playing for, to, to try to get the Super Bowl, to be in the playoffs. I think the Titans are going to squeak this one out. I think it's going to be a close game just because uh, the Niners are also sparked up to, you know, just to win and to show off with their new quarterback. Um, I don't think this is their year, obviously, but next year, you know, I think they can make things happen. But Titans... Uh, I think you're gonna pull this off. Okay, so you got Tennessee. I was like, "What are you talking good about both of them?" I don't know yeah. what you're going for. I got the Titans as well. I'm gonna remember them as well. <laughs> uh, I don't. I think this is where Jimmy G's uh, little undefeated speaks like stops right here. They're gonna go in the San Fran and just whoop them up real quick. So, you know, it is two and one. That's good. Go ahead. I'll let you do the next one, Rudy. Oh, you just had it. I just had it. Oh, yeah, no, I, I thought, oh. All right. This one here is <laughs> Dallas at Raiders. I'm always freaking hating the Dallas. Raiders disappointed me last week. <laughs> they disappointed me. Badly. Out of me. Good, very well said. Oh, man. <laughs> but uh, you already know a team without Ezekiel is, is a team. They beat the fuck out of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> they, won, they won one of the six without Ezekiel. Yeah. All right. I'm going to hate, hate this, but I'm going to pick Dallas. You know, I'm just going to call it right now. I'm probably going to be the only one going with my Raiders. Which I will not be mad about it. Unless, unless DJ wants to come in and uh, back me up. But I don't see that. He's on my paper view. This is a tough one. This is a tough, such a tough one. Uh, no, I, didn't, I did not see your paper. I can't see over there. No, I said he saw my paper. That's why he's like, he's uh, well, I, I already know you're not going to pick my Raiders. No, fuck especially the way they played last week. Mm, fuck that. Yeah. Um, the Raiders have been out of it. I was actually... Offering uh, one of my coworkers to try to you know get a, a bet on this just because <laughs> he's 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 too a Raiders fan so uh, I've been winning a lot off of it <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna stick with what I know and I'm going with the Cowboys on this one uh, I think it's gonna be a close game I think they're gonna win by touchdown touchdown only yeah I think like twenty one by the way you guys are playing uh, no yeah. <laughs> so only engine number nine is going for the Raiders. Of course. Gotta stick to what I know. He's going for the Bay Area team, just both of them. <laughs> <laughs> we got the last one. The last one, we got the Falcons visiting the Bucks. The Fucks. <laughs> the Fucks. <laughs> if you give it, at this point, if you pick the Bucks, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. But, so I'm going with the Falcons. I don't know if this is going to be all picked, but Falcons. I'm going with Falcons. Falcons. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you take that gamble? I, I, I don't know if I really want to take this gamble. I mean, uh, it's the Bucks. Yeah, it is the Bucks. But this is also another uh, chance to knock you out of your playoff hopes game. Yeah. Ooh. So uh, if yeah. Atlanta loses this game, there no more chances for them to be in the. Uh, They're wild card right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, but if they lose the uh, the Bucks, they get knocked out. Yeah, that's fucked up. They so, get, yeah. so they they get the Bucks. Games games like, you know, want to watch. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, I, I do like his saying though of uh, butt fucks or fuck yeah. fucks. Yeah. 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 Butt fucks. Yeah. Yeah. Butt fucks. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 It was a slogan that was created by the Raider, the well, Raider organization there thingy after that 2002 uh, Super Bowl, fuck butt, uh, fuck Chuck Buck <laughs> Suck. Fuck <laughs> Fuck Buck yeah, He just got pink, guys, I'm sorry. Fuck Chuck Buck Suck. But I probably will take this gamble and right. go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They, they, they lost last week, but like I said, this is a chance to knock the 
talking about the player. Now you're fucked. <laughs> You um, might be uh, knocking yourself out yeah, of it. Yeah, you might. Which is, he's excited about it. He'll be yeah, because I'm locked in third place. You, you got to take gambles right, right now. <laughs> right now I'm locking. Um, did you want to tell them who's leading right now? When enjoy it while it lasts, or what? Uh, right now, I'm leading by one game. Uh, well, SJ's. It, does, it doesn't matter what it does. It's just getting game close. Good. In the third, he's yeah. I'm leading him by one game, so it's still a toss up. Yeah. It can go either way. Any week can change change us. Uh, I don't know the splits, but I want to say maybe it's like one or two. But man, yeah, yeah it, it, it's down to the wire, and any one of us pretty much that always makes it more exciting. Honestly. Yeah, more us three like, than him. Yeah, right? <laughs> it makes it more exciting. It, it took you all the way to the I'm not mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it took you like 14 to say, like, like, yeah, it's up in it now. And the belt's back. Yeah. If you haven't seen yeah. it, look at it. You guys can see this in all its glory. You haven't seen that. And, like and, like and any one of us could still win it. Hopefully. 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 <laughs> uh, it'd be take a miracle for him to win it. Maybe this shit can win it. Hey, again. you never know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, so. I could it's could hit a sixteen and zero on this before this season's over. Although that's, I, true. I, that's I, my goal. To yeah, right. Get that sixteen. You almost had a fifteen and one. Oh man, two times almost got it. I do want to elaborate on one game real quick, guys. Uh, just uh, so you guys know, I, and you guys too. You know, a lot of players from the Saints are fucking hurt. Like half the players are fucking hurt. Yeah, sure. So I, I look at that right now, like man, maybe I, I don't know, dude. But they're, like half their off the offensive line, the defense, they got a lot of fucking people. Oh, Alvin Count with them, Kamar, whatever thing. Well, you guy. want to change your pick right now? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm I'm hurt. You're, You're on camera. camera. He can't change his pick because no, he's locked. already locked in. Yeah, I'm, oh, locked. I'm just saying, locked that's, that might be a fucked game for us. Gotcha. Another True, one, man. Another yeah. one that can fuck them over. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, anyway, guys, this is week 15. We'll see you guys week 16. As you guys know what's up, I'm pretty sure he'll be wearing the shit again. And so, uh, uh, make sure you put your picks up, too, <laughs> before Thursday's games. Yeah. Uh, tonight. Clearly, you, know, you guys may or may not see me next week. Um, um, for you guys all know, I'm, I'm having a kid, so... Uh, you guys will hear my picks from, from them if I'm not here next week, so. Yeah, that we will. Yeah. All right, guys. Next week. All, All right. right. Peace. Peace. Yo. You didn't hit the record button, dude? It's making me high. Oh, I forgot to hit the record.